I got to the I got to an age where I saw all these just I got to the point where I didn't want to be in a kitchen anymore. Too old for it. I don't need kindergarten drama. I don't need the overhead and everything that goes on with with a restaurant. Nashville's restaurant scene exploded. There's been three waves of it. They're on the fourth now. And um, I started to see it and started to know a lot of these guys that were, they're, they're just kick-ass chefs and kicking down just such good things and such good, you know, innovative ideas with their restaurants. And they're the ones that are in their mid, mid to late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s. They're the future of, of national restaurants right now. And I just thought, if I was them, I'd want someone like me bringing me what I'm bringing me out of a warehouse right around the corner from their from their restaurant. And, um, and just started thinking about it, and I thought, I got, I think, three or four people together. I never told anybody what I was doing, really. So I got, like, three chef friends of mine, and then I got a couple civilians who had normal jobs and thought, okay, I'll ask them what they think. The chefs are like, do it now before anybody else does it because this is what we want and we'll buy it all. And then the other ones were like, well, what about numbers? What about this? What about this? How are you going to do this? And I said, don't worry about it. I'll figure that out. And they were like, you should do it before anybody else does it. So Carter Creek Greens was born. First of all, tell me where you got the name Carter Creek Greens. If you Carter know. Creek, Carter Creek, Carter Creek is is the area where my grandfather's farm is in in Greenville, Kentucky. It's been a working farm for ever, and um, I just thought, what a cool name to call what I do. Even though I always farmed in my backyard a little bit, but. Taking that name and putting it on to what I do, I thought was just really cool. And how long have you been doing this? Four months and 18 days. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes. I can't remember that. Okay. Because I've drank a lot of beer before. Not today, <laughs> but like down in my shop. Okay, gotcha. And, and tell me what kind And I've eaten too much beet. Okay, too much beet? Yeah. Okay, is that bad Either for your I, memory? I hope it's better for it. Okay. okay. I eat a lot of carrot. It makes my eyes better. It okay. Makes my eyes better. Okay. So tell me what you're, what exactly you're doing at Carter Creek Greens. What are you growing? Uh, so yeah, so came up with the name, found a space, wanted to be urban, wanted to be very simply located because all the people, all the chefs that I know that have these restaurants are right near me, and that's that's just like one of the greatest things ever because it's just like I can I can I can harvest in the morning, and then the afternoon before their dinner service they've got it package date on it, they know that it was cut that morning. And um, found the space, built it out, knew what was going on, and um, growing, I mean, me and my, my, my two boys down there, I mean, we can grow anything that we want. That's, that people want. Um, but I started, you know, being a chef and going to these other chefs and thinking like, you know, I look at their menus, number one, and I see kind of what they have on their menus and I know flavor profiles and I know, I just know that because I'm older than them. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm older than all of them, except like two. And those two, you know, are still, you know, cooking hot browns. And eating cheese, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> but the younger ones who, who who know me and know what I do and know you know what my background is, they know that I come to them with these ideas and they know that. And so I just kind of started thinking like, okay, these are some really cool restaurants. These people will probably buy. I can tailor what I grow to their to their maybe their menus. And if if they say no, they say no. If they don't say no, I'll take someone else. But I'm always thinking ahead. So uh, right now we're growing um, probably, everybody calls them microgreens these days, but microgreens are kind of such an outdated little thing. We take microgreen seed and grow it into a baby green. I mean, we grow 
grow seed that's not a micro green seed and grow it into a baby green. And basically, we're, we're all shed, everybody, basically my, my entire like 2,000 square feet of growing right now is all a custom grow for all the 14 people that I'm growing for. So I grow it to their specs. I grow what they want me to grow, how big they want me to grow it, and what they want it to look like. And if they ask me to grow certain things, I'll do that. Like, I'm growing oyster leaf. That's from Scotland. I'm growing crystal emerald lettuce, which is from South Africa. That's cool. I'm growing sea kale, which was brought over by the Scottish to the Appalachian Mountains 300 years ago and was nearly lost. Source seed, found it, and then growing it for someone who wants it specifically for like nine things that he's got on his menu. Now, Tom, I know you brought some stuff for people to try this evening. Yep. What did, what all did you bring tonight? Um, I brought beet, chard, kohlrabi, daikon radish, hongvit radish, tangerine lace, which sounds mysterious. <laughs> uh, and it smells good. Um, Chad, what else did you eat? All of those. <laughs> I can't remember anything else. I think I have two other ones. I, have two, I think I have two or three other ones. There are just some things. I mean, it's not all of what I had down there, um, but it was what was looking good and what I thought would be cool. Um, I think, um, and everyone's, you know, encouraged to taste it and and see. But they're just baby greens, and they're 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 grown to. Um, to complement and accompany certain dishes on a certain menu, you know. Some people just take them and fling them and be like, oh, look how good we garnish this plate. That's totally fine. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, but most of them are like customed out to what these people want on their plates. Okay. And I think you have something that you wanted to share, and then when you get finished with that, um, we'll have you go over. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I have a question. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, What's the, uh, like, say, uh, the time they give you, say, grow time for you? A batch notice for special items. Uh, 60 days, 30 days? Chefs are, chefs are, um, chefs are just like me. They don't care. Right. Um, they, they, think they're, they think they're really smart, and then they realize that they're not all that smart. <laughs> and they try to play it off. Right. Um, chefs are, are finicky and funny. <laughs> They, uh, this one today called me this morning and I haven't spoken to him in two months because he pissed me off. And, um, I never knew him anyway, but I sold him a pound on one day and then he never called me back and he called me this morning and he said, do you have any, do you have any sorrel? And I was like, funny you ask, because yes, I did. And he said, bring me two ounces. And I was like, okay. I ended up, you know, pulling it out and cutting it, and there was only just one, there was only one ounce. I just, I couldn't get any, I mean, I could get an ounce, and I get 1.3 ounces, or 1.4 ounces, I just, I didn't, I'd rather save that and let it grow. And I went over there and said, so you just brought me only one? And I was like, do you want to fight right now? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, I know you're 50 years old because you just told me your age, but I was like, this is, I, I, I've only got one, I'm sorry. Um, they give days, oysterly for example, five weeks germination in a 40 degree refrigerator, six weeks in the 60 degree temperature, then it grows. I said, I'm going to make this work faster. So we germinated it in a week. Is that right? Now it's in a pot today. So, you know, they, they, I try to explain to them that certain things take certain amounts of time. Some people know that, but most of them are really cool, man. Most of them are just like, they're just like you and I, they're just like, that, that dude, that's totally cool. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. Because they know they can get it from somewhere else, not locally, but they can source it from San Marcos, California, but they, they then then they'll know that there's that, you know, there's that, you know, 3,000 mile carbon footprint on it, right. 
which they don't want. Right. So they're usually just cool with like, you know, this is going down, you've got this, you have this, you don't have this, and it's totally cool. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a great book, if anybody's a big reader, it's called Abundance 